Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be talking about how to defend, no, sorry, how to attack Clubhouse. We're just going to be on the defensive side so I can set up everything. Um, we're going to go all across all three sites. But yeah, let's get right into it. I'll probably play Mozzie. Yeah, I'll play Mozzie for this. Um, but for attacking this site, again, like, okay, this site is pretty easy this map is pretty easy in general of course it's easy to say that when it's just me and a map running around just opening stuff however i please but you open this wall oh wait, yeah i forgot my stupid freaking dang stupid prep phase but you open up this wall there's usually a rotate over here okay there's a few ways you can get this wall open let's say thatcher's band you can have your maverick maverick open the wall you can have a buck zofia ash like, and a great thing to do with your ash is come through this window right here, right? Kind of have somebody drone her in, run up, shoot her ash charge, sprint in, get here, like check here, check there, kind of check everything, try and get an opening pick really quick, and then if she can sprint up and kill the bandit, so like she'd sprint up here, have somebody drone it out, check there, swing here, get the bandit, then the wall is safe 100 you can easily get that and then probably rotate like up here too that's basically you get this wall open you have control of this whole site if you have like i said an ash jofia buck if they can open up this this whole this wall somehow you open up this wall you can watch into a site and then if you come up these, if you have somebody on red stairs, maybe a nomad air jabs like right here or something, you can be kind of, you can be protected just watching everything. Uh, kind of like, you're obviously going to want to drone a lot of this. Garage is probably the toughest thing to take on this site, to be completely honest, because this would probably be reinforced. If you remember my how to defend video, I set this up as smoke. Um, basically you have this whole thing set up there's a rotate here with a shield so that anybody playing in rafters is safe they can't get shot from here and they can rotate back usually a maestro has a cam like out right here chilling behind this indestructible rafter panel on the cam watching and then basically even if like a, something like this yeah you have like a mozzie set up they can't get droned Maybe a dock with an ACOG, anybody. This is gonna be very tough for the attacker to win, especially if you have like an ADS or something. Yeah, you could Cappy Tau it, like shoot a bolt, probably here would be best. Like, right, let's see, let's like, try and map this out. But like, come right over here, shoot a bolt maybe in this back corner there, right there, and then another one out to here. Because the fire should spread enough where it would encase them where's this camera this, there we go and then they either have to get up and run out and you can get a pick that way or they just die in the fire that'd be the toughest this the toughest part to taking this site because like i said you get this wall open you can watch all of this you maybe have somebody on red or somebody push in and watch red and then the, then that's pretty much it honestly that's pretty much the hardest part is getting the guy out of garage let's say you have a buck nomad push or so, like somebody in a nomad or gridlock or whoever push logistics they drone this all out they air jab or tracks these main stairs right here and then the, the tracks would obviously be down here they can't push up without you without them hearing without you hearing them um and then you make a rotate here so yeah, probably with Buck or Gridlock, you'd want to open this up. And then you're into, into here. And you just sandwich everybody in. Maybe another air jab over here. You can kind of take a site, watch red stairs, push in. And they're just all sandwiched in. There's not much. They can't really, they basically cannot do anything. It's almost impossible to retake this site. You have somebody repelled all the way out there. They vault in. And there's somebody repelled. That's an easy win for the guy on rappel um people in uh construction holding open hold, holding a site basically impossible to lose let's go on to the next site okay we're just gonna go on to the next site actually which is gonna be basement so let's say you have your rotate set up like you should 
like rotate here rotate there um this wall is reinforced hatches are reinforced dirt's reinforced the way you would want to attack this is top to bottom you'd want to go third floor well i guess it would be technically second um down to down to basement so you would have like a few people maybe take jacuzzi wall push in through here kind of clear all this out this will probably be the best way to do it you have like one or two people push in this way they open up the bar hatch then they can just kind of watch all this maybe like your thermite would go with them they could get bar hatch which then opens into this area called moto which is good because um cuts off a big rotate there you get the blue hatch which just opens up into blue and then personally you can oh well, not personally but after you get the moto hatch you should not the blue hatch does not matter as much as the moto hatch and in my opinion the kitchen hatch it depends where you want to push though because if you're not even trying to push this room arsenal it doesn't even the kitchen hatch doesn't matter and realistically neither does the blue hatch but you would have somebody up here watching this rotate you'd have two uh two people push down main one watching the hallway thermite goes gets this wall right here and then this is like the new meta i guess in air quotes to open up here and then plant behind this just because this is indestructible and it's pretty good pretty good protected and then you could have somebody in blue watching the rotate like watching all the way from out here watch the push in from door watch arsenal kind of back up here watch that see because the hatch can't see any of this it really doesn't really doesn't do much and you shouldn't waste your if you're doing if it's just thermite you get moto hatch with one thermite and you get the wall with your other and that that's the push that's all you need to do and then what's that one person here one person here one person here one person here that's four people what you could do as well is to watch the flank is have somebody up here watching or to be like out here kind of just have somebody like maybe a box sledge any vertical person up here being able to watch the flank from the hallway maybe a buck open all of this because you don't really need the hatch the hatch only just allows you to drop which you don't need to do if you just open all of this up you don't need to uh don't need to don't need to drop if you're going for the complete other side you just open it up and you can watch the hallway watch the site make sure you can't get pushed so that's about it for attacking basement final objective is going to be gym and if you remember from the uh defense video for this map basically just kind of shocking up the bottom of this uh make the rotate over there holy smokes oh no i know okay Basically, that's about it. All you need to do for this setup, castle all that off. Anyways, for attacking this, you're going to want to do a few things. Again, this is going to be another map where you just want to pinch people, pinch the defenders in. And the way you can do that is by opening Jacuzzi Wall right here with either your Thermite or your Maverick, and then getting in and opening up bathroom wall that pushes them out of bathroom into the site let's say you nomad this maybe like right here you have this hatch open drop into logistics have this all set up of course this is all like best case scenario hypothetical no contest just what you, the goal is and what a lot of people also do is coming through this uh through cash wall kind of drone this out because then you can push in through here check all this out uh like put a drone maybe over here like a flank drone whatever it may be and take control of construction then from construction you can go into logistics or you can come to the hatch and get logistics and now you have this control of this whole side of the map this this whole area they can't really push you um of course well they can flank you but that's why you would have like a flank drone or you would have a nomad as well nomad would be like out here nomading this or like a gridlock maybe 
And what you come, what you do by doing that, can I actually like stick a thing on that? No, okay. Anyways, you open this, you can come into bathroom. You have a line of sight, not from outside all the way to, to the site door, but just inside, you can go over to here, watch the whole site. And now you're just pinching everybody in. And you can push in three different angles. You can have somebody playing the long angle repelled right here, watching the side. Actually, no, you can't watch the side from there. But inside, you can have people on the windows as well. Once you get the wall open, you can have somebody come out to these windows. And then watch this as well. So you have like two people in logistic, two people over here. Sorry, I'm like slow. Two people construction, one person repelled, one person. Okay, so two people between construction and logistics, one person on the window, one person on the wall. And then the fifth person would probably be. Hmm, I'm trying to think, where would they be? You have two people here. One person there, one person there. I guess could be on another window or trying to plant. The fifth person would be the planter. And then you have four people watching them. You have somebody out here watching, somebody planting here, watching somebody watching the window, one watching logistics, one watching construction. And that's about it. Honestly. The attacking video the attacking side I feel like is a lot simpler, because there's not too many things to do realistically i mean like yes it sounds like a lot and it kind of sounds like the complete opposite but i actually that like straight up but what it really is i don't think that's going to come back down because there's no drop i think it goes forever anyways um sorry i guess sidetracked like a lot when i make these um but basically on defense you have to worry about what they're gonna do how it's gonna be how to adapt while on defense I mean, while on attack you're forcing the adaption it's more like okay this is what you're doing let me completely mess that up and then make you change is really what it comes down to because where's my other one here we go because on defense you're just kind of chillaxing no no on out on attack you're trying to find out where everybody is, open up some walls, and then you just push in at the last minute. Rather, on defense, you're trying to waste a bunch of time, make them push in at that last minute, and win. And it's a lot easier, in my opinion. I mean, against a team that's really good, attacking can be more difficult just because they're more disciplined. But against a team that's okay, Attacking is going to be a little bit easier, in my opinion. Teams that don't know how to adapt, how to, how to take what's happening and change it, move it into their favor. Those are the teams that are going to lose. Alright. So, yeah. That's about it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy, make sure you like, subscribe, uh, comment. Thank you for watching. Stream every day. Link in the description. Peace out.